Um, just a comment. You did it. This is from Rita. You did a discussion recently regarding what happens after the wife has a baby, all the changes, and the husband's being patient about this time afterwards. And it was excellent. Well, thank you. I am going to share with a few of my adult children who are newly pregnant or will be. <laughs> I think it's something all new parents would benefit from. Isn't it funny how we just basically have like zero talk about that? Like, you know, we talk about, I think they just kind of gloss over it in the hospital, so to speak, is just like a, a, a biological, physical thing. It's almost like you, you, know, you broke your leg or something, or you're in a body cast. And of course, the doctor is going to say, well, obviously no physical activity, husband, wink, wink. So you have to back off for a while. That's just kind of how they approach it with the kids, and, or having the kid, rather. And no physical activity, no sex for probably six, eight weeks. You know, you guys be the judge of how it feels, and blah, 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 go slow at it, and done. Nobody, like, sits you down and says, okay, this woman over here that you've known for so many years, hopefully, prior to having a kid, she's she's gone. Yeah, this is a new woman here. This is wife 2.0. You've introduced a new little human into the equation here. The things are going to change dramatically for you. For some, it's not very good. There's this thing called postpartum. There's this thing called increased anxiety, potential depression. Husband, be on the lookout for it. Here are some things to look out for. And, and here's a helpline in case you need help. And here's somebody to talk to, husband and wife, and et cetera. Uh, but I was never told any of that stuff. And uh, I just did a little video here that's scheduled to go out soon, I think. 10% um, of men, when the baby comes, experience postpartum depression. And I can hear a lot of women laughing at that <laughs> right now. It's like, oh, you poor men. Yeah, you didn't have to squeeze out, you know, this little thing and hold it in your body for so long and experience this hormonal drop and everything else. Actually, some men do experience a hormonal drop in the form of that testosterone we talked about. Like some experience a, uh, a, a, a dr drastic drop in testosterone levels post-baby, believe it or not. Um, part of it is lack of sleep and everything else, just like the woman experiences. But the other part is just mother nature. It's weird when we get this new little infant the testosterone just immediately goes for a lot of us. It, it's it's been um, it's been interpreted by scientists that this is Mother Nature's way of saying uh, we need you to not run around and screw in other women. Thank you, testosterone. We need you here to concentrate on this one. So lower the testosterone so you can help out with this new little one. Stop running around everywhere. So a drop in testosterone makes men feel eh, not so good, and then we have this uh, feeling of what's my purpose here? What's my role? Um, she breastfeeds, she cares, she does all of this. I'll jump in and change a diaper if I can. I'm like, honey, can I do anything else for you? And she's like, no, no, I got it. I'm fine. Just, you don't do it right. You're not doing the right way. You, this is, I'm very particular about this. Let me bathe the baby. I feel, you know, I'm bonded to the baby when I bathe her. Let me do this. Let me do that. And the husband's just kind of, all right, well, I'm kind of at a loss here what to do. And men need a purpose. Men need some kind of role in this life machine. And when they feel like they're purposeless and they have no role and they're just kind of like, hey, sperm boy, your job's done, get out of here. Start feeling a little depressed. Apparently 10% of us do. So it's kind of interesting. So yeah, we need a better class on, uh, hey guys, here's what you're going to experience when this new little one comes out. 